everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today I'm going to show you guys the Great Purge starting point. So it is the beginning of September, and I am going to show you guys our pantry and walk through like the stuff that we have in it. I usually have three containers up there, which I have on the counter, so I can show you guys what's in them. I just kind of tidied up a little bit. I filled up the containers that were getting low and um, then kind of looked through what we had. So I wanted to share this with you guys to, so you guys see what we're starting with this month. I'll take you guys into the freezer for a minute and also into the other pantry where I have like the bulk containers. I have some randomness in here like um, the flaxseed that I put in our smoothies. There's also some lo mein noodles back there and also some nutritional yeast. And then these are like salad toppers. We've got some seeds. There's some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds. And then this one is crunchy jalapeno pieces. I've got one thing of tricolor rotini. I'm gonna try to do pasta salad sometime this month. I've had this in here forever. I just never ended up making pasta salad. I always have some salsa on hand. There's also one in the fridge. There might, actually might be two in the fridge. Livy's playing with her bean bin. We've got lots of tomato sauce and diced tomatoes for quick veggie pasta nights. I just pull out frozen veggies and saute them. These are all those things I got just in case for the hurricane. So we'll have these for lunches or like a really easy dinner one night. And then I got some chipotle peppers. I'm gonna use these this week because I'm gonna make taco bowls. I got some more coconut milk back there. Lots of garbanzo beans and black beans. We love those. Some chicken noodle soup just for emergency. I call it for emergency use only. I get migraines and that's one of the few things that I can keep down if I'm having a really bad one. I ended up getting two sample things when I ordered a Walmart delivery or a Walmart pickup. I got an overnight oats and a SpaghettiOs. We still need to open those. I've got one thing of vegetarian refried beans. I thought we could do that with taco bowls or I've got some tortillas. We could do quesadillas, some more olives. This level's mostly Johnny and my snack junk stuff and this level is mostly Olivia snack junk. And then down here is just overflow of stuff and I also keep potatoes. And down here I've got my emergency apple juice. That's what I drink when I have a migraine. We got these actually when we first moved in and we haven't done anything with them. They're just instant grits. I like just the regular old grits better. So I've been, if I wanted grits, I've been buying grits that way, but I can use these up for breakfasts. Then some pineapple chunks and some almond milk. Those are just smoothie things. And then more of her apple carrot, which she's been loving lately. And that is it for this pantry, aside from the bins that I keep on top. And these are like overflow, things that haven't been opened yet. And so this is what I want to really pare down this month, going through these snacks versus buying new. So in this green one, I usually keep like the open things, like more of what's in those little containers. So I've got, you know, more nuts, more animal cookies, more nuts, more of the pouches that don't quite fit in the pouch thing. Lots of Johnny's crackers. Um, I just leave these in here so I can easily grab them. And then back here are things that we don't really like anymore. So when we're, there's like a food drive, I will throw these in with the food drive stuff because they have expiration dates that are really far out there. So we didn't end up liking the Spanish rice and I ended up getting like two or three of them. And then open, unopened things, crackers, graham crackers. I still have one thing of Pop-Tarts left. I've got a thing of tortilla chips in here, more coconut chips, more nuts, a thing of marshmallows. We should make Rice Krispies. And then more of those Ritz crackers in there. And then last section, this is a bigger pantry, and these are the two shelves that I have some food stuff on. The rest of it are just all my little gadgets and appliances and like a big stock pot. So over here I've got baking necessities, decorations, food coloring, chocolate chips and stuff. These are all muffin wrappers. These are all like little ingredients like cream of tartar, baking powder, salt, vanilla, things that I would need for baking recipes. I've got two boxes of cereal down here. And then over here I've got all of my bulk containers. I've got rice, flour, um, popcorn kernels for making popcorn. This one is cornmeal. I should make some cornbread. I've got regular grits back there, which I really like. Red lentils, green lentils, barley, and we really like this. It just got cloudy, so it's really dark now. Um, we really like this whole wheat thin spaghetti. We get it. Um, Target is the Target brand. I've got um, different flours in here, pastry flour, coconut flour. This is all purpose flour. Up here I've got sugar, so I've got just the natural turbinado sugar and then just a regular white sugar. Here's our candy stash up here. And then I've got some open M&Ms here. So I'm gonna show you guys this really quick. I'm not gonna leave this open because it's, you know, energy wasting, but we've got lots of things we can make for lunch, like potato puffs, 
broccoli french fries, naan, and I've got a lot of smoothie stuff in here. A big bag of strawberries and raspberries back there, some spinach, we need to get more spinach, uh, some blueberries, some frozen bananas. I freeze them before they go bad. And then Livy's got some popsicles in here. They're just um, strawberry and spinach blended up. And then we've got lots of these Dr. Prager's things. I stocked up on these recently. So I've got lots of those. I've got a couple more boxes back there. And then this is frozen lemon juice in here. I added sugar and then the sugar never ended up freezing. So it all just kind of fell to the bottom. And then I've got my smoothie containers made. I just stuck these in here. I did some smoothie prep earlier. I go ahead and add everything to these. And then I just have to add almond milk and blend. Um, some carrot fries in here. This is all the meat that we have left. It's all chicken. So I've got to work my way through that before we start doing more meatless meals. Here I've got some frozen bananas. I just add a little bit of chocolate syrup in with those and they're really delicious that way. And then I've got some pasta sauce left over here. I think more Dr. Prager's things back there. And then this bin is frozen veggies. So mixed veggies, corn, more spinach if we have any spinach, green beans. And then we've got ice cream. So I ended up picking this one up at Sprouts this last week. It's really good. We've got some more waffles. Olivia's kind of over the waffles. We also have some lemon sorbet, some strawberry coconut milk, and then I think there's a vanilla coconut milk back there. I don't know how old those are. We'll try to work through those this month or just toss them. And then back here, I've got some more tangerine pops from Chloe's Pops. They're actually pretty good too. Um, some sweet potato fries and tater tots. When I make, made up the smoothies, I had the pineapple juice. So I'm gonna save this for the next time I make smoothies. So I'm freezing it and I'll put it into a container when it's completely solid. And then our fridge and freezer are totally not cleaned out. I need to give this a good wipe down. So um, no judgment, please. <laughs> I've got Johnny's lunch is prepped for the rest of the week. I go ahead and make his peanut butter sandwiches and stick them in the fridge. Olivia loves these animal pouches. We got these on Amazon. I love them and she loves them. I just buy the unsweetened applesauce and add cinnamon to it and she loves that. I've prepped a couple of breakfasts for the next couple days. It's just overnight oats. It is oats, almond milk, a splash of vanilla, a splash of maple syrup, and cinnamon. So I just saute an apple to go with these each morning. It's been really delicious. Olivia and I share that. I put a lot of water in the fridge for the Hurricane Harvey just in case. And so I filled up all our water bottles and we're just kind of working our way through drinking all of those. And then here is our cream whipper. It is an ICO. Yeah, ICO. I will link to this one. I really like it and it's super duper easy. In here, I've got some more cookies that we can just pop in the oven. I've got some more hummus I need to use up. Lots of these fruit cups. Olivia and I both really like those and they're super easy to grab. I've got some dairy-free um, cheese substitute. And I think I have like one slice of real cheese left. Yeah, I've got one slice of real cheese left. I'm kind of saving it for when I really want some cheese. Also some of these left too. So these are my last ones of that as well. And then some chicken. I made a double batch of the baked chicken legs last night. These will be part of Olivia and Johnny's dinner tonight. We've got lots of apples and strawberries. I got these containers on the recommendation of Shelly at Shelly's Home Life and I have loved it. I keep the strawberries nice and fresh. Another thing I have found, I think I found this on my own, these blue apples. You put a little, um, let's see if I can open it. You put a little packet in there and it keeps things nice and fresh. So I've got one of those in each drawer. And again, I need to clean both of these drawers out. I've got some produce left. I'm gonna try to use this up for the rest of the week. Lots of um, condiments and stuff. And this I ended up getting to make just jelly toast and we never ended up really doing it. I think we had it one time. So I really need to use that up for breakfast. It's a really easy, quick breakfast. I just totally forgot about it. I did go a little bit over what I was trying to do for No Spin September because I forgot my mom was coming to town. So I just got stuff for snacking and for a couple meals that we're gonna have this week, we're mostly going to eat out. I didn't stick with, you know, much as far as vegan stuff. We are just having whatever because we're having house guests. And so one of the special requests was spicy shrimp linguine. So I ended up with, um, I think this is a pound of shrimp. Um, for that. Also gonna do biscuits and gravy. That was the other meal we have planned. So Southern style biscuits. We needed a can of Rotel and then the unsweetened almond milk for that. And then the rest of the things are just for snacks, 
easy sides because we'll have very simple meals when we do eat at home and then snacking stuff. So I got lots of bananas. We were also supposed to get three pounds of strawberries, but the person doing the Instacart delivery told me that the strawberries didn't look like I was really particular. Like I want bright red strawberries, no bruising. And she was saying they looked, you know, they looked kind of banged up. So she asked me if I wanted a refund and I said yes. So hopefully we'll stop at Target. <laughs> Olivia's waiting for Granny to come out the bathroom. No. <laughs> I'm doing my video. <laughs> Gentle with Bella. Oh, she gave you kisses. <laughs> and so Granny's request was some kiwi. I think Olivia will like that too. Some broccoli for just quick easy sides and Olivia really likes that. A bunch of baby carrots for snacking. Broccoli slaw and uh, matchstick carrots, just really quick, easy things to whip up. Some green beans, and H-E-B has my favorite of the frozen green beans, these French cut green beans, so I should have gotten more of them, but I didn't think about it at the time. And H-E-B is one of the few places that I have found these garlic rye chips, so I went ahead and ordered one, even though I said I wasn't gonna order snacks for me. We also are going to make French onion dip, so I got the French onion dip mix with sour cream. This is Olivia's snack for the week, the vanilla wafer. She's been asking for round cookies, and so I ended up getting those for her. She'll have those for dessert sometimes. And then two bags of chips for, you know, having family here and snacking. Vanilla almond milk for the mochas and also for um, smoothies. And then the unsweet for that biscuits and gravy we're going to have one night. And then we got eggs and French bread. I already showed the shrimp. And the one non-food thing I got was the Johnson's baby bubble bath. This was the only bubble bath that they had. And Livia has been out a couple nights. She's been asking. So just got the one that they had. I don't know what my total was, but it was way over the $50. I will insert that down here. But I think, you know, for having family in town, I don't care. It was still way less than my normal week. So that is it for this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys are doing on the No Spin September. I would love to hear how it's going for you guys for week one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.